the more you take care of yourself the more things you discover about yourself Hi guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another why I talk Wednesdays I'm super excited today because as you see by the title we are talking about our role as a wife and our role as a mom and how those things shift once we get married now obviously of course sometimes not in all cases women have children prior to marriage and then in some cases women wait to marriage before they have children and the roles of a wife and the roles of a mama kind of get misconstrued a lot of times so we are going to talk about that today and as well as talking about it we're going to talk about how we can maintain having our own identity while being married and also while serving those roles so guys we are going to dive deep into it today so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into today's video if you're new here you just want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell that way you can be notified every single time i upload a new video and if you are not new here welcome back and once again welcome back to another episode of why about talk wednesdays i'm super excited you guys are loving it you guys are giving me all of the great recommendations so i have a recommended video for you guys we're going to go straight into maintaining your own identity as a wife while carrying such heavy loads while being a mom and a spouse because those roles a lot of times overshadow our role as just our own individuality so it's important to maintain that individualism in a marriage when you're parenting because it, it's hard it's hard I know but maintaining and having something solidify for yourself makes a whole heap of difference because that allows us to push more and push forward when it comes to showing up in those roles now one thing I like to do for myself when maintaining my own individualism is making sure that I looked apart all the times no I'm not a 10 out of 10 ripping the runway every single day but making sure when I leave my household whether that's just to run small errands whatever the situation is I am looking the part that I belong to someone I want someone to see you and say but baby I can tell she is well loved and well taken care of just the way she takes care of herself just the way she handles herself okay and first things first it's making sure when it comes to appearance we're not leaving the house in bonnets or anything that is going to have someone look at us crazy yes I said it or anything that's gonna that we're going to have on our head that's going to cause immediate attention especially immediate attention in the wrong way now you guys know I love an elevated casual style I love a beautiful two-piece set I love a dress the weather is warming up this past Sunday I I just posted on my channel my spring haul and some of the things that I like to wear simple casual looks that looks really really well together and it does not take much I know as a mom especially a new mom it's always hard trying to find trying to find your identity and trying to get back in a groove of styling so you guys know I love simple pieces simple jewelry pieces like a ring a bracelet earrings a simple necklace speaking of simple and cute dainty jewelry the brand Ana Luisa sent me over some beautiful pieces and you guys know you, you know it's not nothing new over here on my channel to have simple cute elevated pieces especially in my wardrobe especially when it comes to jewelry so they sent me over some pieces so they come a well packaged in a button snap close your pouch so it's something you can keep your pieces your jewelry in if you're traveling and you want to be able to drop your pieces into your purse without them getting tangled or anything like that they have a pouch for you to have now uh, let me show you these beautiful pieces because I'm gonna go ahead and put one on since I'm a little bare here today I'm a little naked on the neck and so you guys can see so the first piece is this Lori necklace and it is so beautiful it's like this interlocking chain with diamonds on it and then the second piece they sent over this is called the claire and i think this claire is 100 percent my favorite on top of that they are long lasting 
tarnished resistance starting at $39. Y'all know I got y'all. I, I You already know in the description box, I have the link for you. So you can immediately, you can hit pause right now. Go ahead, take a look at the website, see what you need, add it to the cart, check out, and then come on back and finish the video. But we're gonna go ahead and put this one on because this one is just so, so beautiful. And again, you guys know I love a cute, dainty piece comes on a 16 16 inch chain with a two inch extender so up to 80 inches so it pretty much can fit everybody neck so let's get her on look how beautiful this looks i have this on the tightest obviously once again there is an extender on it so you can loosen the chain if you want but i love 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 you guys know it's nothing new over here when it comes to me and having simple pieces and i love an elevated look without doing too much trying too hard but at the same time the price you already know you already know the price is exactly where it is. So uh, once again, I thank you, Anna Louisa, for sending over these beautiful pieces for me. And guys, I will 100% have a link for you guys in the description box. Now, as I stated before, having a simplified look, it's automatically going to give you a sense of individualism because one, people are going to, we just have to be honest. When someone looks nice, you immediately gravitate towards someone who looks nice. You want to say something nice. You want to compliment them in so many ways. And let's just be honest. It's an ego booster for someone to tell you that you look nice, you smell nice, etc. One of the things that I'm focusing on in 2024 is taking care of my skin taking care of my body and I want people to be able to recognize and say like girl you have been doing an amazing job with your skin what is it that you're doing what is it that you're wearing it smells good you look nice so being able to directly say I want to look nice start small when it comes to having simple pieces you don't have to spend a lot of money you guys already know that I've told you time and time again you don't have to spend a lot of money to get the look that you desire but being able to have your own individualism in your marriage is so important focus and think about some of the things that you want to do you desire to do and know everything and everyone isn't out here trying to overshadow the role of their spouse or compete with their spouse but the most important thing is being able to have something that make you feel like you're accomplished something you know so for me i've said it before i always wanted to get into the gist of starting youtube which allows me to kind of have my own sense of individualism it also allows me to have something i focus on a goal something i like to desire and to achieve for myself and i like to show up for you guys i have built a whole new entire community here on youtube and it's uh, I'm, if I'm being completely honest, it's completely different from any social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, etc. And you guys allow me to dig more deep into myself and think about, okay, Sam, what are you really trying to do? What are you really trying to portray and who are you really trying to help? Okay, that's just that. So being able to one, make yourself looked apart, get up, get dressed, don't go out of the house looking like any and everything. It's hard. Yes. Is it easier just to throw on some sweats and etc.? Yes, it is. But does it make more sense to pull yourself together? Yes. We only get one life. And please, I do not want you to get to a certain age and you regret taking care of your body or you regret not showing off enough and i'm not saying in a derogatory way i'm just saying you regret not loving yourself enough for the world to see you for who you really are so put your money where your mouth is and be able to say this week Monday, this is how I'm going to show up for my husband. This is how I'm going to show up for my children. And this is how I'm going to show up for me. I'll use me as an example. So Mondays, because you guys know I am a stay at home mom, a stay at home wife. When it comes to my duties at home, I only do them Monday through Friday. I do not do anything on Saturday or Sunday when it comes to my duties as a cleaning or anything of that sort. 
Reason being is because I don't want to feel like I am working every single day of the week with no means to it. You gotta have a strategically organized household. So if you gotta start there, scale back, start there, and then everything else will follow. But between Monday and Wednesday, all of my clothes for the week are done being washed. Whatever needs to be washed around the home is completely done, okay? Then that allows Thursday and Friday for me to focus on something for myself, whether that's a little bit of self-care, whether that's me taking care of my nails, pedicure, whatever, etc. That allows me room for that. And then when the weekend comes, it allows me time to show up for you guys. It allows me to self-reflect on who I am, what I want to portray, and what I like to do and have for you guys. So that's me in a nutshell i'm parenting 24 7 so that doesn't stop but taking a second to understand what must be done now what can wait till later will help you focus on uh, your own sense of individualism and i promise you i promise you i promise you it goes a long way the more you take care of yourself the more things you discover about yourself that's ultimately what we want right that's it so let's shift gears and let's go into once becoming married, how your roles shift as a wife and how they shift as a mom. So you guys know what, you know, you we, we know until we're blue in the face what is required of us when we get married, okay? To serve our family, to serve our husband. Those are also purpose in what order obviously god a husband children in in that order so with that being said we have to get out of our own way we have to allow our husbands to father their children and what i mean by that is as a mom you can fuss at your kids all day long but as soon as dad say something it seems like it's coming from the worst place because dad tone is completely different from your tone so you got to be able to put your feelings to the side and say let dad do his thing so that way they can understand that it's parents and it's children it's not mommy taking the kids side or anything of that sort and then dividing a husband and spouse i promise you i promise you taking the kids out every single time because you don't want daddy to fuss at the kids it is detrimental and your husband will feel devalued because of that okay you don't always have to go to the rescue of these children we know that they show out sometimes a lot of times so allow your spouse to parent okay the more he parents, let's just hope and uh, believe and pray that they shape up. But you want to bring them up in the correct way that they will 100% portray even later on in life. Okay. So as a spouse, serving your husband also means getting out of the way. Simply. That's just simply put. It just means getting out of the way. Okay. Now, it's not always easy because in a lot of cases, remember how I said at the beginning, some spouses have children from a previous marriage or previous relationship. So now, so now the lines are a little bit blurred. So it gets a little bit more difficult because just like as a mom who shared the same children with her husband, it's um, I can imagine in so many ways that it's even more difficult when allowing their new spouse to chastise their children and they're not his biological father. Should he? Absolutely. I don't want to hear it come from my neck. We can have it that we can have a discussion down in the comments. But at the end of the day, he is your husband. You trust him enough with your heart and your life. Trust him enough with your kids. Because if you don't, you're saying you're putting your kids before your spouse. And of course, we don't want that. That's not what you're saying, right? I know that's not what you're saying. Okay, okay, okay. So I got you. I got you. I know that's not what you're saying. you just saying that you're scared a little bit. And sometimes it's hard. I, I got you. I, and I understand that. But you have to allow them to parent. You're not the only parent. Allow them to parent. Okay? For me, the transition was a little bit different because, of course, we did not have children prior to marriage. 
we it was about nine years before we had children together so we had a long time learning one another etc but that still does not mean that problems don't occur or discrepancies don't exist because they do we both were raised in completely two different sides of the spectrum and blending the two is not always easy it was not always easy now i mean at this point we pretty much got it to figure it out we got it together but initially it's not always easy and i guess that's where like the expectation we have so much of our significant other when we have children is just too 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 high i think we forget that they they are human you know they are not going to get it right they're not going to think in the manner that we think and etc you're not going to think in the manner that they think okay we as women feel like men aren't as serious when it comes to certain things and that's okay that is okay that is okay understanding that because they are this a certain way it does not take away who they are as a husband and it does not take away who they are as a father okay so making sure you don't bind or mix the roles trust me they go hand in hand your children should see you 100 loving on your spouse because it, it's just it is what it is okay your children should see it so they can understand your children should see you 100 bind as a couple when it comes to parenting because that's important it should not be a situation where if mom does something i'm gonna go tell dad or if dad does something i'm gonna go tell mom now when they're little kids that's just what little kids do but you understand what i'm saying when they're a certain age they shouldn't have to feel like they can leverage one parent over the other because at the end of the day it puts it it, it shifts that respect level and nobody wants to be undermined when it comes to parenting I know I don't want to be undermined and I know my husband doesn't want to be undermined when it comes to parenting. Okay, So when you're having a conversation with your significant other and if you haven't, now will be the great time. We're going into the nice warmer months. So everybody is in a, such a lighter mood. So sit down, take one day during the week, have a conversation with your spouse and say, hey, I want us to be on a better page together when it comes to raising our children. What is it that we can can do as a couple to ensure that a our respect stays intact to our respect for our children stays intact and vice versa and we can continue to grow when it comes to raising our children have the conversation because it's not easy i know people make it seem like it's easy but it's not easy i know people a lot of times like to shy away from having those tough conversations so whether you have stepchildren in love whether your children are biological children between the both of you i think it's definitely 100 worth having the conversation because no Knowing your role as a wife, I love to say, what did your father say? Whatever he said, that goes. I enjoy that because it doesn't put me in an uncomfortable position where later I have to have an uncomfortable conversation with my spouse, okay? It doesn't put me in an uncomfortable position where it's like I have to defend my children and now I can't defend my husband. They're both, 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 100%. Like I said, they're, they're both two separate roles. Learning to master those roles are incredibly important. That's why you got me. That's why you got me. And I'm not going to allow you to not have some sort of positive representation to be able to identify those roles, okay? that's why you have me and that's just that that's just that i know there's a lot of dialogue on what you should do once you get in a relationship what you shouldn't do but uh, baby we have real conversations over here okay we're having real conversations based off of experience not what somebody is coming up with on the internet we have real conversations, real life situations that we can dive deep into and experiences that we can learn from, okay? The smartest person in the room not only learns from their mistakes, but they're able to learn from your mistakes. So y'all can learn from my mistakes and the things that I have done wrong that, you know, were, that caused harm in my relationship.
I'm not perfect by no means. We're not perfect by no means. But all in all, you get what I'm saying. We have made it to the end of today's video. If you have learned anything, as always, is to what? Being able to maintain your own individualism is being able to take care of you. Start with you start learning your style again when it comes to your style of whether it's dressing take one step at a time the more you do for yourself the more you learn from yourself you become the best person overall for yourself for your spouse and for your children knowing the role between being a wife and being a mom and make sure those lines do not blur so that way their respect is not lost when it comes to your spouse is significantly important allow your spouse to parent that helped me shift from thinking i have to be in control of everything because i don't there's no need for me to be in control of everything okay no need okay i don't want to be in control of nothing if you ask me if, if you ask me so knowing those roles and making sure that that line stays parallel with one another and they never intersect which causes you to defend one side of the track trust me it's it's the best and once again you guys know maintaining yourself and looking nice get you some Ana Luisa jewelry the description code is in the description box for you guys so you know I never leave you hanging and again you don't have to worry about it tarnishing or anything y'all know y'all know I have the favorites y'all know I have the best okay so guys, until next time, until another White Talk Wednesdays, I enjoyed this. I'll see you this time next Wednesdays. Bye.